Hmm. How are you all doing? Omo, these are interesting times to be alive. How na day? Someone say, na hosh they think na na hosh matau na hosh matau. Hey, someone say they think call me, call me as how. You see. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is you guys need to be able to differentiate between a professional job and friendship. I'm glad that you guys can see me in such a light. That means I was able to take my job to the next level to the point where you guys actually believed the hype. To be honest, first of all, I need to start with an apology. Um, yes, in my bid to do one of the greatest interviews, and trust me, some of the greatest interviews you've ever seen in Nigeria were done by me on my personal space. Um, Tonto DK, Timaya, uh, Techno, and so many crazy one on ones. To get the Hush Puppy interview was also a major feather to my cap it was one of my biggest interviews ever and someone said he will call you definitely because he tipped you something i'm putting this on record fbi is watching if they can trace 50 cents in cash or in kind to me they should call me i'm not talking of one dollar 50 cents in cash. You see, many of you people believe that we are poor. So, because I went to interview Hush Puppy, he must dash me money. I am putting this on public record. If as much as 50 cents came to me directly in cash, or transfer or crypto or any means whatever trust me fbi has their ways i have nothing to what am i afraid of if fbi invites me tomorrow i will wear my cloth tie my knot and be very glad to travel to america to go and do holiday because i know that by the time we are done with the questioning i'll eat mcdonald's hang around a few a few places do interview the fbi person who want to interview me said me said go call interview him you now have daddy freeze interviews fbi ah. <laughs> market must sell so to be very they will give me hotel self I think get luck when they fly me business class. So, I have nothing to hide. I did everything I did in the capacity of my job as an interviewer. Now, there are many things you people don't know. I did, Hush Puppy did not invite me to Dubai. Oh. I went to Dubai on a Cool FM trip. I went with the entire Cool FM crew. I even went with Taste Buds. As a veteran... In Cool FM, I said, me, I cannot go on a trip without my madam. Please, I want to go with my madam. And they approved it. I never for one, Cool FM kept us in a hotel. All of us were there, all Cool FM. I, there was no day I did not sleep inside. No day that I slept out. Always slept in my hotel. Every night. Someone is saying, who has this, all this now? You see, before I block you, eh, 
First of all, let me ask you, what are you doing on my life? Secondly, somebody said, I collected tip. Why must, you see, these are the reasons why I didn't take the internet gossip about Hush Puppy seriously. Every journalist that goes for an interview must have been bribed. Please, have a phone call, Jerry. Hello? Yes. Okay, okay, my send the code and see. Sorry, somebody's at my gate. Important person. Let me send code. You think it is you people that will be here? And you see, any girl that drives a Range Rover, any actress that drives... I'm not saying actresses don't sell their bodies to men to drive Range Rover. But it's not every single actress... Is not every single actress. And it's not good to generalize. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not good to generalize. In your bid to be funny. And in your bid to indict somebody else. You are making the whole profession look bad. Hush Puppy sent his car to pick us up when we're in Dubai. Let me tell you the truth. Every, every minute that that car was with us, when the driver drops us somewhere, I give the driver money to go and eat. That's how I am. Throughout the time the car was with me, I fueled it. If we're going, because I don't like abusing. Somebody is kind enough to send you his car to pick you up. In Dubai where I don't know anybody. So I never. And you see those are the things that make people respect you. If you have the Allah Tenuja mentality. You go and meet somebody. Ah, it's what you will eat. What you will eat. Do you understand? What did I eat in Hush Puppies? It's not rice and chicken. Taste boards cooks rice and chicken every day. I we we have an industrial kitchen that can cater to a thousand people at once. So what is it's not like I ate the lobster I ate. I took taste buds in Dubai. The video is on my YouTube. I took taste buds in Dubai to the to the lobster place myself and paid my money cash. So you guys need to get away from this mentality that um, anybody that hangs out with, with somebody must be collecting money from that person. I will not lie, I'm disappointed in Hush. And if I see him, I'll tell him. Because you fed the rumors. Tomorrow, somebody's buying a Ferrari, he must be a thief. Someone said, freeze the fear. I don't talk out for record. You see, when you not get sense, you will talk nonsense. I don't talk out for record. Say, if FBI won't question me, may they DM me. May they find. I know I ready answer anybody question. Wait, what do I have to hide? Do I have anything to hide? They will come and sit down with me. I will give them all my bank details. Every, let them just look. Be the money also that they can mark notes. Let them check all the notes I have. If they see anything that looks like Dubai money in my hand that can be traced to Hush Puppy, they should come. Feel free. It's when you have something to hide that you'll be worried about. What I wanted from Hush Puppy was an interview. Watches. You don't forget, say the first time where I meet Hush Puppy, Hush Puppy put in watch like this. Me too, I put my watch. Hush Puppy buy me watch. <laughs> Come on. Come on. So, let's let's face issues. Now, that doesn't mean I was not in any way wrong in my hush puppy interview. 
um, I took my professional, um, what is it called, a little too far when we yap people's fathers. And I apologize for that. That was wrong. Um, it came at a time when people were trolling me. And Hush Puppy 2 was a victim of trolling. So it was like the two of us were firing back at everybody who had trolled us. Uh, come uh, make Hush Puppy employ your papa. That wasn't a sense, a, that wasn't sensitive from it was it was a joke in bad taste you understand from my part and i apologize for that joke aside from that i did nothing wrong i got my interview you see many of you don't understand how social media works we try to teach you but you don't understand a good interview of that level can make you money for years. So, I'm not, I don't work with NT... Uh, let me, sorry, sorry, let me not run down any... I don't work with any media house that I have to... Because the media house owns the content. Then, the only way I can eat is by a brown envelope. No, I own my content. My content is copywritten to me. Let me tell you something. There was a time Wazobia FM, our station, wanted to use my content in Abuja. They had to write me a letter. And I had to approve it. So that they would not get a copyright... Uh, what is that thing called? Strike. I own... You see, if I didn't own my content, then I can now be like many reporters and many broadcasters and many journalists are uh, unless they get paid or get a tape do you understand if hush na elder for instance hush they call me onku why am i going to disrespect myself by going to collect handouts from him think about it that being said i know many people don't believe all those kind of things all well and good not a problem I'm available to be checked. If any authority feels that uh, my hand is not clean, let them check it out. Sorry. Yeah, hello? I don't send them. Okay, okay, okay. My send your consent. Yes. Please, somebody should help me take... Uh, Please help me get something from downstairs. There's somebody downstairs. Okay, collect it for me and put it in the sun. Thanks, love. Let me call the girl. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Uh, move away from the road. Let your mother pass, sir. Uh, eh? Okay, okay. I'm on the phone. I'm in the live. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to a customer. Everybody's disturbing me. Don't shake that something. Uh -huh. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Let me just address it. Uh, attend to what I have now. I'm still coming to teach you. I still have part two of Jesus is not God that we started yesterday. Uh -huh. Send your account details. All right. Bless you. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, someone says, Taste Buds, we love you. Someone say, If this posh people enter Hosh, well, I swear you will go to jail. Now, your papa and your mama go go jail. All the children where you born, all of them go go jail. It don't do. Anybody where they stupid, we go all day. Make, so you think you have the monopoly of silliness? Hmm? Yes, help me unplug it. It's okay, it's okay, just unplug it. People are not letting me do my live, all of you. All your Peking will go prison. In fact, am I barely want tea? Say I go do interview. Wait till I want to see. I don't talk an FBI. Phone me now. Maybe this is if I want to interview you. Make the, you don't know what to be said that if you sit down with FBI, hey, hey. 
They go wear uniform for me. Go sit down and say, yo, yo, FBI, how you do, man? How you doing? Okay, yeah, uh huh. Uh, yeah, so, 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 ah. So, me could not fear anything. I thank God. Let me tell you, yeah. I was having a conversation with one of my sisters today. And I said, you know, those kind of things that ah, you are walking inside somebody's house. Somebody just say, hey, that if it's make I dash with this, my Gucci shoe. Or me. Nothing like that even happened. I was staying in an all expense paid hotel. We even had our transportation. It's just that to go and do the interview with Hush Puppy, Hush Puppy didn't want an Uber. My company paid all our expense paid. It was all expense paid, not just with Cool FM. We had a partner company. Babe, what was the name of that partner company? You Fit Fly. And Hush Puppy was not the only interview I did in Dubai. I also did Regina Daniels and Ned Woko Jr. FBI knows who they are looking for. And... I had an interview with the BBC, and the BBC asked me, said, uh, as the FBI called me, I said, what for? But, as you got my number, let me tell you how many people, interviews I've done over this Hush Puppy matter. I've done the Daily Telegraph UK. I've done BBC Radio 4 UK. I've done Bloomberg USA. If all these people could find my number and reach me, FBI too should reach me and ask me any question they want to ask. I have no problem answering. If I had something to write, would I go on Bloomberg? Go and Google Daddy Freeze Bloomberg. You will see the article on Bloomberg. Someone said, but you mock people also. Uh, mock people in the, uh, people's parents in the name of defending Hush Puppy. Like I said, I've apologized for that. That was important. And I gave the reason why. What was my reason? I have been trolled and trolled on the media to the point where it gets frustrating. So, but like I said, it's not an excuse. I apologize for trolling anyone and anyone's parents. It was wrong. And I'm also disappointed in Hush Puppy. To be honest, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I believe he was an influencer. I don't like judging people. Somebody say, hey, but you judge pastors. I don't judge pastors. You come and you mistranslate something in a Bible that I have. You twist it. So I'm not judging you. I'm judging you based on the lies you are telling. It's the different thing. Let me tell you something. When I went to Hush Puppy's house for the interview, it was me in the picture. I didn't hide. I didn't just use only camera. It was me. I went to record the interview. Now, now, uh, let's talk about the Abakiari matter and then move on to our preaching for today because in truth, now preach, I can't hear, come preach. But I just said I should address some things. First things first, um, the story broke today that Abaki Yari, let me look for it for you. Uh, okay. Policeman Abaki Yari reacts after being accused by the U.S. government of allegedly receiving bribe from Hush Puppy. That was his reply. And then there was the original topic. Hush Puppy allegedly bribed DCP Abakiari to arrest and ensure that a member of his online gang was arrested and jailed. U.S. government alleges. Now, Abakiari responded and said, Popular policeman Abakiari has reacted to being accused by the U.S. government of allegedly receiving bribe from Nigerian Instagram celebrity Ramon Abbas to arrest and jail a member of his online gang identified as Chibuzo. So Abakiari's statement, uh, apparently, um, according to Linda Ikeji's blog, Abakiari was accused of initiating the arrest after a dispute arose from the 1.1 million 
scheme the Instagram celeb and members of his gang were involved in. The affidavit described Kiari as a highly decorated deputy commissioner of the Nigerian police force who is alleged to have arranged for Vincent to be arrested and jailed at Abbas behest and sent Abbas photographs of Vincent after his arrest. Uh, the statement goes Abbas who we later came to know as Hush Puppy, called our office about two years ago that someone in Nigeria seriously threatened to kill to a family in Nigeria, blah, 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 blah. Then, um, if you read all of it, he said, nobody demanded a cover from Abbas. Our focus was to save people's lives that were purportedly to have been threatened. Later, he saw some of my native clothes and caps on my social media page and he said he likes them and he was connected to the person selling the clothes and he sent about 300k directly to the person's account uh about this part this part seems to me a bit funny though because um it looks like you're me casual them no go get work again as i'll bros they go into fashion now <laughs> make i not talk past my mouth ah um gg.com gg.ng okay but you see that's as far as I, I, I like to comment that i love to see how this unfolds um someone the other day said fashion police <laughs> nigerians are not well with their captions uh, and sorry hush puppy is a lesson to people who hastily mock people without knowing the other person's source of wealth yeah, quite true. Why should they do me? No one say hush puppy, they wear native cap. Ah, waiting concern us. We don't feel comment past the one way we comment. He don't do. He don't do. Make we wait as FBI go take judge this matter. We are still on it. Someone said only Kiari knows hush puppy, Kubana, etc. You see, um, another thing is if you are hiding in the police force. Who do you think they give people police escorts? So police they know civilian too now. And the police too is not supposed to arrest a civilian until the civilian is proven guilty. But you see, in Nigeria, everybody is guilty the moment the person is not your family member. If the person is if horse is your family member now, he'll be a real estate mogul, he'll be a chieftain, he'll be an influence. The moment he's not your family member and you have no access to it, automatically he becomes a thief. I'm not saying what he did was right to. $24 million, I'm disappointed. That's, 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 that's sad. So... Let's watch it before I, before you start pronouncing another person guilty. Before we before we could say before I could say Hush Puppy was guilty, he confessed and said he's guilty. What am I now supposed to say? He has. Uh, how did he take column? He said he's guilty, and there's a public statement to that. So, all well and good. Um. So, I'm reading a few comments here and there. What are your comments so I can move to our preaching? He pleaded guilty. Thank you so much. That's exactly. Someone said, there's no legit without illegal. Think about this. Someone said, if he's innocent, he should go and answer in America. <laughs> that reminds me. Me, I want to go and visit FBI in America. Can you people uh, uh, contribute for business class ticket for me? Taste what you go. Follow me, go. Make we go now, Mama. Make we go America now. Make we go greet FBI. You say now nah, we be this. So when I get question, ah. Someone say you get visa. Ah ah. FBI invite you, you know, get visa. They go give you visa. Forget visa that is smaller. They go even send private jet self so that you go come quick, quick, answer their question. <laughs> Na 
Nigerian police go soon pour water for Yahoo boys. Now, me cannot talk. Me cannot talk. Any questions? Any contributions? Should I close it? Another thing we all need to be careful for is anybody will dash you money. Make you day careful. Make you day careful. All of you that like to receive tips. All of you that like to receive tips. Lesson learned. All of you. Babes, where if a guy don't give you money, you know go open leg. Even if you they date the guy, before if he access the place, you must pay money. Someone said, what do you think about the whole saga? Like I've said, I'm disappointed in Hush, personally. Secondly, um, I'm watching everything unfold. All those of you where they collect giveaway, if they never do giveaway for you, you know they're happy. Make una day careful. Someone said, I left my husband because he was never ready to change from collecting people's hard earned money. Nene, I would love you to come live and discuss this. Someone said, Gucci, Gucci, don't they do native? I don't know, but be like, say, Balenciaga, don't they do native? Balenciaga, don't they so agbada? Hello. Hi, how are you? Very well, thank you. Where are you? The UK, right? Um, no, United States. Hey, Americana. Yeah. All right. Tell so, me. So as I was saying, that's not a lie because um, I left my husband because of that. We had three kids. But since I was with him, he was like taking people's heart and money. And like I tried to like change it. But he was never ready to change. And that was not a life for me. I was not comfortable with it. And at the end of the day, I was like, no, I can't do this anymore. Like, I have to move on. Because, like, how can you be doing that every day? You'll be, like, thinking, like, oh, the police might pop up in your house. They'll come arrest you. They'll come do all of this stuff. You know, sometimes you go into this relationship and you think that, oh, this person is doing a legit business. All of a sudden, you go in there, you knew this person is not doing this kind of stuff. And was that was like, that's not me. And like, I don't believe in those stuff. I believe in you walking your own money. There is nobody that might want to walk their own hard and money. And somebody would just come from nowhere and collect the money. And again, if we have kids and these kids are going to learn from that same thing. And what are you teaching these kids? And that was not a life for me. And I like... I'm going to move on and I left him because of that. And he he's a Nigerian though. Yeah. What it's, tribe are you Nigerian too? It's Igbo. What about you? Are me, you I'm Sierra Leonean. Oh, you're not Nigerian. No, I'm not a Nigerian. So mm. it's, it's not good. I don't know why people do that. But like, if you do it, there comes a time you have to repent and like, just that that's not life it's not life collecting other people hard and money if you know how people go uh, out to walk their money and all of that like it's not good it's not now somebody's saying you had three kids with him did you not know before well i knew he was doing business then when i entered there just just like every other relationship you're in there like you thinking every day you're going to change the situation like it's going to change, but it didn't change. So at the end of the day, like this is not life. Like I have to move on from that because it was not a life. Like I was in there though for a long, I, I thinking that it's going to change, but it's never going to change because free money when it start coming, like it's, I, I, I didn't live with it. I was eating from it, though, but, like, all my life, I didn't want to take any part of it, though. Like, I was living in the house. But and you still paying child support for your children and all that? 
Sorry? Is he still paying child support? Spousal support? Well, I take care of the kids. I do everything. I do take care of my kids, yeah. Does he take care of the kids at all? Well, he's trying, but like, you know, their money's go and come, like, so I take care of my kids. Mm. Yeah. Maybe mm. I do 80%. I do Mm. Because mm. I don't want to teach my kids that that's the that's the way to to get money. Like yeah, so yeah, it's bad. It's sad. It's bad. I, and um, a lot of people are sad. Uh, somebody is saying here that Daddy Free is new. That Hush Puppy was not legit. How well, do you make sense you, like yeah, that? This is the this is the thing. Sometimes you don't know these people what they're doing. Like just like my situation, I was thinking this person has a business. He showed me a, a shop he was running. I was thinking that's it. Until when I'm in in there, like I begin to like discover all of this stuff, and I knew that was not life, and that was not it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it happened. Thank yeah. You. Thank so much, madam, for coming Thank through. What's you. your name? Neneba. Neneba. All right, yeah. Neneba. Take care and Thank have a very beautiful weekend. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Beautiful said, uh, Neneba. Uh, that's a major point right there. You see, when you say no, knowledge is different from suspicion. It's different from assumption. For you to know something, you must have Evidence. You must have evidence. Okay? So, um, when, when you say, ah, Daddy Free is new, new how? <laughs> how, do I, how am I supposed to know? Do you know how many people you judged and said they were thieves only to find out that they were legit at the end of the day? Do you know how many people we FCC has busted? And then realize that they were legit at the end of the day so let's be let's be very careful with that uh narrative you've got to have concrete evidence um it's like calling every girl that drives a range rover olosho it's how you people reason because your mother cannot afford Range Rover. It, it will now look like I'm, I'm, I'm taking a jab at you. Yes, there are girls that do a low show to buy range. But it doesn't mean that every single girl driving range. I know. Someone say, how much did the probably pay me? Me. <laughs> they tell you, say, are they hungry? No, people are they hungry. They look for who go dash you money. Hush Poppy gave me an interview. My second biggest interview. My biggest interview ever is on Todiki. Number two is Hush Poppy. And Hush Poppy is creeping up. That's what he gave me. An interview. A world-class interview that has earned me other interviews from foreign newspapers and radio stations. I'm talking about Bloomberg. I'm talking about The Telegraph UK. I'm talking about BBC Radio 4. Taste Buds was sitting with me when I was doing the Radio 4 interview. That's what Hush Puppy gave me. As a professional, he helped my professional career. I was the only person, only if you ever want to watch a Hush Puppy interview. And I'm going to show it right here on YouTube on the screen. If you're on YouTube, it's right here. Just click right here. You would see it. For the rest of you on other platforms, youtube.com forward slash... Um, Daddy Freeze teaches, you would see my Hush Puppy interview. Okay? Now I'm rounding off. I don't have much time. Solomon Bucci wants to come on. Uh, I don't have time. Ah. Uh. Uh, uh, I don't have time. I'm rounding up because I want to come and do my preaching. So, you were doing like, course, she'll send you full. Yeah, so many people want to come on. I'm rounding off. Maybe Solomon and I will sit down and do a proper discussion. 
not this one because my intention is to preach who else who else who else i'm just reading comments and um i'm rounding off right now mm. put the interview link on your bio let them see okay definitely Colade benson uh -huh. Colade benson Okay, uh, say hi again, Solomon, but I can't do more than two minutes. I beg you in God's name. Where is he? I can't see him again, no. No one says FBI is watching you. I'm also watching them. We are watching ourselves. He thinks I'll be like you when they run from FBI. Maybe I need any question. Maybe they DM me. Uh -huh. Solomon. Okay. I've sent your request. Okay. Hello. Yo, Solo Baba, how are you doing, brethren? I'm all right. How are you doing? Very well, bro. You are you are enjoying your life. You have just been eating very well from taste buds. Baba, what can a young man do? <laughs> how far, bro? Okay, so I, I... Your... Yeah, yeah, I know that I know that we need proper time to like talk about this. Yeah. Um, That's why yeah. I got I... Since everyone wanted to hear your perspective, I was like, you know what? Let's bring Solomon Bucci on. Okay, so so what what part of it are we re really talking about? Is it if you knew, or if um, it was obvious that he was actually a, a fraudster, or just general perspective on fraud and you know actually, Nigerian young people? Actually, just talking about initially to open up, I was talking about Abakiari and um, the news. I just broke the news. Uh, and we're discussing normal matters that I bring on to my life to discuss. So that's where it ended. And um, a few people asked me questions saying I collected money from Hush Puppy. <laughs> I, I find that comical, comic relief at best. Uh, and I was trying to educate them. Some of us have our own platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, if we make money, it's because we own the content. Mm -hmm. make from the content mm -hmm. and also when you give good content your channels grow and then exactly. you see to make more content now to be honest we all we all we can't deny that we heard the rumors about hush puppy uh having some illegal dealings yeah right uh we can't i can't deny i'll be hypocritical if i deny Mm -hmm. However, it's like saying actress that earns 200k movie driving a 50 million naira range is a Ron's girl. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, there's always that allowance. If, if he had a conviction, if he had an arrest, as far as I was concerned, of course you always feel that, eh, well, this money is a bit plenty. But you see, my problem is I know many wealthy people who you can't understand how they make their money and they're legit. Mm -hmm. I know who EFCC picked up because he had a Ferrari. They took him to his office, checked all his systems. Apparently, he was um, into programming and gaming and doing all those things in Asia. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah. would I have given Hush Puppy a hundred percent? Uh, clear that uh, he was a good guy or not. But mm. I also willing to believe that okay, this guy is genuinely an influencer because yeah. I did in the group that peddles the rumors. See Obi Kubana, we do a uh, funeral, how many days? They don't begin talk. Mm -hmm. I also took him for his word. Remember, I had an interview with Hush Puppy on the radio knows that interview. It was me, Naomi, Crystal, and somebody else with 
he called in. I sent him a DM. He now called in. And we asked him questions in the studio. And he said, ah, he's into real estate. He's into this. He's into this. He's into this. Okay. I took his word for it. Now, I can come and apologize and say, okay, guys, my judgment was uh, not as accurate as I loved it to be. But I have apologized for it. You know? But in all honesty, why should I really apologize? Nobody can really know until he was declared guilty. You, Buchi, are you not innocent until proven guilty? <laughs> yeah, so, 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 so. And it's more expensive than your salary. And I can say that you must be stealing somebody's money. But you see, I, what's your opinion, to be honest? Yeah, so, 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 so honestly, I, 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 un I understand people who actually think that he is, um, you know, there is just this culture of if you are living a very flamboyant, lavish lifestyle, that means that your money is not clear. And it's quite a generalization, honestly. And the fact is that we can be sentimental and biased. I, and I don't have a problem with that, but I just have a problem with people who mistake their sentiments and bias as fact, right? So now, yes, you can actually be sentimental, number one. Number two is, I have been called a Yahoo boy before, right? Um, who I used to stay, you know, they, just because they did not understand, like, I don't have an office or anything. I just do things online and, you know, I'm quite living well for, for my age. And, you know, I just like hearing people saying that I'm actually into Yahoo and everything. So I quite understand that. However, just like you said, you cannot, you cannot conclusively say this person is this thing unless you know. Like, there are opinions I have that actually I feel like they are quite valid, but I cannot say that in the public. I can't come out and say, this person is gay, when they have not said they are gay, even if I suspect, uh, you know, and all of that stuff. That's the right thing an educated person would say. And uh, obviously, um, I mean, you are a journalist, and, and I think I, I need Nigerians to understand that journalism is actually um, a profession, because that's actually, you know, my major too, is a profession where you have to be objective, right? or something because of the counseling you do no i actually have just um, professional certification in that but yeah mass communication mass com okay okay so you studied journalism also yeah yeah exactly so so people need to understand that 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 pe people interview but people into adolf hitler i want to believe was interviewed people interview people right and whatever the the interviewee actually says that it's not it's not your responsibility like it's not you know it's you are, you are not the one giving the answers the only thing i had yeah the only thing i had an issue with with you and i think you did apologize yes you did you did apologize was actually when you guys hung out in dubai and you actually kind of like you know um said some words that weren't too nice to people who actually were criticizing him brought this up solomon let me apologize again. Guys, um, we took, we're having fun and we're literally cracking up. And it was a joke in bad taste. I take it back. It was a joke in bad taste. I should never have said, hey, you people's fathers should come out. No, no, no. I'm sorry about that. I humbly apologize for it. And I'll try. You know, I'm very loose-mouthed, those of you who know me. And I tend yeah. to say a lot. And this time it has gotten me into a tight spots as the case may be and i apologize for it i've apologized for it like three times today and i apologize again he <laughs> felt offended yeah. please forgive me your fathers who are doing legit work and are not earning as much as his gate men don't discourage them and don't be discouraged may we continue to promote legit work Amen. and may my father used to say something said there's dignity in law. that dignity has been lost in this generation and I'm sorry I made a statement that makes it look like that, uh, um, what is it called? Dignity, Dignity. has been eroded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so basically that, that was my only issue with, with the whole story. I had no issue with the fact that you actually interviewed him. I mean, that's, your, that's, your, that's legit your work. So when people say, and, and I see people say stuff like, why must Daddy Freeze almost talk about, you know, talk about everything? And, and I'm like, literally, that's his work. He's a journalist. 
That's what he went to school for. That's why he, that we talk about people. We talk about events. We talk about popular people, how they influence the society and everything, how he, he, he influence like culture and all of that stuff. So I don't understand. Like, I, I mean, obviously some people will come here and say, I'm actually making a case for you. I don't agree with everything you say hundred percent, but I actually, okay. I'm, I, I, I am exactly. I'm actually near objective with the way I see people and everything. So, so I, I, I think you don't have to kill yourself over it. If you've actually apologized and let people know, people will always see if the people that don't love you will always use your errors as a way to just hammer on you. So if you've apologized and you've said it and you know, and over and over again, and people still think that he gave you money on his I mean, at FBI, I have not mentioned your name in all of this stuff that's happening. They've not said anything. They, they, they've not traced you to anything. They might have actually gifted you anything. People gift me stuff. I don't know how they make their money. Somebody comes and says, Solomon, send your account. You have blessed me. Send me $5,000. Why would I not collect it? That one mm. is different. Now, I'll collect it, for God's sake. But it's different if I know that they are actually into Yahoo. And then they give me money. And the fact is that even if I know they're actually into Yahoo and I get the money, it still doesn't make me a Yahoo boy, you know. Well, it actually can actually um, give the connotation that I am, you know, encouraging them. But you, you really cannot know when people give to you what you know, their, their source of income is like. So I just think that you just need to just forget and just move on with your life. Nigerians will always talk. You have actually Nigerians, apologized. I was going to give you two minutes, but this is the best thing I've spent in the last one month with anybody online. Thank you so much, Solomon Bucci. And I also want to say something here. Hush Puppy never, I'm saying this on the record. Nigerian police, FBI, all of you take notes. Hush Puppy did not ever give me one cent, not to talk of a dollar, a whole dollar, in cash, in gifts, in transfer, in crypto, or in any other way a human can transfer money to the other. What I needed Hush Puppy for was to give me a blockbuster into And he delivered on that. That's what I wanted. That's the only thing I needed. If Hush Puppy had told me to pay him $1,000 for that interview, I would have paid him $1,000 for that interview. Mm. That interview is worth its weight in gold. I have people from the U.S. who don't know Nigeria who have watched that interview and reached out to me for interviews. As a mm. journalist, I would say my greatest interview I have ever done is the Hush Puppy interview. Career-wise, visibility-wise, uh, aside all the errors that you pointed out, I'm human. Mm -hmm. I but that has still been my greatest interview ever. It's the first interview that put me on the international platform. And going forward, I would, I've learned a few lessons too. Um, going forward, uh, I also have to be a bit more detached and professional. Uh, I yeah. got in the arena in the interview in my bid to get a good interview. And I know you do the same thing because when you're doing a job, sometimes we immerse ourselves into our work. Yeah. If tomorrow, that interview is not going to pass on. It is something that future generations will have to watch, to access as a documentary, as whatever else it will work for. I don't know if I'm making myself clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I actually get you. I totally. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Solomon. Is there anything else you want to say? Well, the, I think the last thing I want to say is that Nigerian young people should should work. Like, like there is actually, you know, here is the thing. A lot of people say that 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 hard work, like Yahoo, is not hard work. But I think that fraud is actually can be hard work. It yep. is actually hard work because those guys do not make it overnight. Even if that that's their that's their driving force. So why don't you put in that effort into legit work? Find something. There like there's just this there's just this peace of mind that comes when you know that the bread you bought, you bought it with the money that you earned legitimately and you did not have to rob from anyone. And then people say stuff like they don't kill people. But these guys actually I have a friend, they wiped his father's account. The man actually had a heart attack 
and has stroke right now, a lot of people are actually suffering because of these guys. And I know that some of them are actually here, right? So I just want them to, like, and women who are also dating, there are women who intentionally are dating these men too. You guys are also collaborating with them, you know, to actually uh, uh, do everything. So I just want young Nigerians to actually see the beauty in hard work. Consistency pays that if you've been in the, in the jo uh, journalism or um, whatever for, for, for over 20 years now. You are not who you are today as a result of overnight, you know, um, and what's it called? Process. So th th there is actually a process. I've been writing for eight years now. So somebody who comes out today and starts writing wants a measure with me in writing. Like, it doesn't make sense. People you admire, look at, like, richest people. They are mostly older people, you know, like, apart from Mark Zuckerberg and all of those ones because of, you know, the influence they had when they were actually young. So I just think that young people, that we really need patience. We live in a world where we want our miracles. When I mean miracles, we want our success to be microwaved, like you're putting today, putting tomorrow. And that's why Ponzi schemes actually exist in Nigeria. And they'll keep, if I decide today to start a Ponzi scheme, I'll make mad money out of it. Because Nigerians want to put 50,000 and remove 1 million naira. From where? You know? So I, I really think that we need to mellow down greed and, and all of that stuff. And really just work hard for your money. And God, God said he will bless the work of your hands. The work of your hands, not the work of um, stealing from people. So that's it, basically. Thank you so much, Daddy Freeze. Really, really nice you. having this start with you. Something that I, that I want to buttress on. Overnight success is 10 years in the making. Mm-hmm. You see overnight, to you it's overnight. To the person who is successful, it's at least 10 years in the making. Mm -hmm. Even Zuckerberg, who was young, he started building his empire from his teens, but we're not there. It's when we see Facebook and say, oh yeah, wow. Oh, he had an idea. Do you know how many ideas we have? How many of us are able to see our ideas to fruition? So thank you so much for that um, motivation. God bless you. Thank and you. Uh, like I would always say, our world in entertainment is very different from the rest of the world. Entertainment is loud. You, why, would, why is Tokemawa so successful? Because she's in your face. Mm -hmm. There are better broadcasters than I am. When it comes to, there are broadcasters I listen to and I'm like, whoa, that's some real talent. But you type, you type broadcasters in Nigeria, you see Daddy Freeze among the fans. Not that he's the best, but because he, he's, he's in it. So that's why I tell people. Also cut us some slack when you see us in it. It's the job. Uh, I was telling somebody about Obi Kubana. Ah, Obi Kubana was wasteful. Obi Kubana is an entertainer. He runs a nightclub. He is uh, trying to sell Glenfiddich in Nigeria. Do you mm. think Glenfiddich sees a wedding that shut down, uh, sorry, a funeral that shut down the whole country? And do, do you think they don't want to associate with someone that can pull off such a party? Five yeah. hundred hours. That's literally Solomon level. I mean, yeah. the real not you, not like you are faithful. <laughs> yeah, I'm very good. I don't have, I'm not so you Cut us some slack. It's our industry. Our industry requires a certain dynamic is different from the banking, from nursing, from uh, teaching, uh, from tech. Unfortunately, someone like me is now caught in between preaching the word of God and doing my job. And if you don't allow me to do this job, Una, go pay me title. I'm taking the wine, Una, with Bible. So, I walk. so that Paul was a tent maker. I don't know how to make tent. Christ was a carpenter. I don't know how to knock wood. Peter was a fisherman. There is no stream in Lagos that I can even fish from. Even if there is, I don't know how to fish. I know how to fish for interviews. Allow me. God bless us all. Solomon Exactly. Bucci. Yeah. Solomon Bucci. <laughs> No, no problem. Thank you so much, Daddy Freeze. Have a wonderful time. And you too, bro. Thanks yeah. all.